Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel. So I am currently trying to make videos to show you some of the online exclusives that are available right now. I can only show you what of course I purchased and right now we are focused I am focusing on just the DSP called One Horse Open Sleigh. I chose not to get the stamp set and dies that went with it. You guys are probably thinking I'm crazy, but I'm not. I wanted to wait to see what was in the mini catalog and I'm really glad I did because what I purchased I know I am going to get a lot of use for. I made a mistake. Um in purchasing the trucking along bundle. Um, I really made a mistake doing that. I was so caught up and so how cute it was that I am actually giving that away to a girlfriend. <laughs> Not yet. I'm going to try to do at least one more video with it. I, I just don't see me getting a whole lot of use out of that stamp set. So I um, let's get started. This is video number two. And um, I'm going to tell you that for the mini catalog, guys, I'm just going to do this real quick. I have 10 pokey tools made by the beautiful Miss Gloria Wolf that I purchased for my event. These are extra ones. This one, I think, is identical. Well, not quite. This one is a little bit more pinky purpley next to mine. I love the one with the bird. That is really pretty. Anyways, I have these available for those who purchased $50 for me in September. So, I, and you have to, of course, be in the United States. So, let's go over what we have. This is my first card I made with the DSP using Sketch number 21 from paper play i got that off of pinterest this is the inside and this is the envelope so i'm going to set that card over there but i did want to show you that so this is the paperback paper pack one horse open sleigh it is six by six great papers in it i don't need to show you those i think uh you guys can go on other videos what else are we using we're using the a timber embossing folder and I'm bringing out believe it or not I was looking for something for a Thanksgiving card I wanted to do a Thanksgiving card with this paper so I went into my paper pumpkin box and this is from 2019 paper pumpkin August kit at this time I wasn't keeping the little uh, instruction cover piece and I wish I had because I, I would have loved it. but this I do revert to this all the time. So what are we using from that one? We're going to grateful for family like you or did I wanted the friends one, not family. So I made a boo-boo there. We're going to use early espresso. So I'm going to just pick that one on that side. And if you're wondering why is she laying it down? Because it does uh, pick up straight. If you just lay them down, these polymer stamp sets and pop your block on give a little push <coughs> excuse me they do really well and we're using of course happy thanksgiving come on stampin up give us some more of those happy thanksgiving uh very proud to have thanksgiving here in the united states as a veteran i'm very proud to be an american i am waiting for my door to open i heard the back door open my grandson so my aunt sent me these little tags sent me gave me these little tags that she got so we're going to use one of these i went and cut the string and i did take because it's really fine little twine i put them on my bow maker and i just made a whole bunch of them put them in a ziploc bag so we're going to use one of those i'm thinking we're going to use this little bit of the dsp that i had done a previous card with in fact this is the one i did the fox with that is so adorable so i think when we're going to use that little bit um we're going to cut this down we are using the craft uh card stock i found in a craft envelope i located in my stash so envelope Five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. Very simple. Then I took a piece, 
that was four because it was already like four by five and a half and I just trimmed it down this was another little piece that was in there so this is four by five and a quarter and we are I ran it through the timber embossing folder and now we're going to sponge over it and I need a little bit of scratch paper to do this early espresso now do be wary early espresso very dark so I want to pounce off a whole bunch I just want because we're going to bring this in so I'm going to go lightly over the timber embossing folder and you don't need to go over the entire thing it's just going to highlight that wood grain and I'm just kind of flicking up like that across it because the DSP I'm going to turn it around because I don't know why but I like doing it like this so that's how I do it I'm going to go a little bit farther there we go because all we're going to really see when we get our DSP on there is that little bit it's going to sit on our card and just make it stand out. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Yes. And I'm thinking, do I want to go around the edges with my little speckly stamp? Do I? Do I? Do I? Let me move my little dish there. We could do a test. <laughs> do we want to do this? So let's stamp off. Actually, we do. Okay. So, stamping off is unnecessary. I'm going to make two stamps with each inking. One, two, one, two. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Very rustic card look. I don't know why I did that. I should have used that ink that is on the block. I'm going to have to go like so. Very, very cool. And I'm even thinking... We are going to go ahead and stamp onto our embossed, but we're going to do it lightly. One, two, one, two, just one, two, one, two. So we're e stamping four times. There's two, one, two, stamp off twice, one, two, stamp off twice, one, two, stamp off twice again, and one, and two and we're going to repeat this all the way around now let's see what it looks like so so cool but we're not to be done yet we're going to have to do the very edges of our card almost gives it a smoky burnt look very very cool now yeah we're probably going to use some more I'm not going to close that up though I'm wondering where do I set it so nothing happens to my stuff here look at that great I want some more I didn't go quite enough so I need to hold it better Start here. Need to support it. Try holding on to the sponge dauber. it's hard to keep it on there okay now I can tell you we got to do all of these darken all the edges so now I have to use these down here to get this corner and switch it around 
I'm hoping there's enough to go all the way around this, but there may not be. But let me show you. You can definitely see. Look at this. This is where we did. This is where we didn't. It. it makes a difference. So I'm going to get a little bit more on there. Just so I don't have to work so hard at it. Remember, you can add ink onto something, but you cannot remove it easily, I guess you could say. But in my opinion, repeating something is okay. All right, now we have it. Now we're good to go. Yes, now we're going to just layer this onto our card. So I'm going to add quite a bit of glue. I want to make sure I get around the edges. Oh my, guys. oh my gosh, she's gluing right on top of her product. Yeah, I am. Don't fear my product. My project, I should say, not product. Alright. We want to get that eighth of an inch is basically a quarter of an inch all the way down and we have to smooth this down it does kind of curl a little bit with the embossing but just if you put enough rub on it move that ink into all those little crevices it's going to secure it down there just take your time with it <clears throat> i am so absolutely pleased with this where's my dsp piece Oh, it's right under the glue, for goodness sakes. All right, so I know that we want the fox. So if this piece here, this embossed image, is four inches across by five and a quarter, our next simplest layer is going to be three and a quarter by five. So that's what we are going to cut it as. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So my embossed layer was four by five and a quarter so i'm just coming in going cutting it a quarter of an inch shorter so and i think it's pretty well going to get that fox pretty well center so i'm going to turn it this way now and i'm going to cut it five because the other one is at five and a quarter so right there it five is the perfect perfect piece so there's those two now we have all of this which we could use we might actually use this one more we'll see now we're gonna have to do some more sponging guys it's got to all flow so I'm gonna bring back my scratch paper here now this is gonna show up going to do the two fingers and the thumb. We want it all to be, oh, I absolutely just love this. I could probably make 20 cards. Back in the day, I would have probably done 20 cards just like this. Because um, I would send them to my mother. I had at that time a very large family. Maybe that's why I love mailing my cards out so much to those on the mailing list. It's because it gives me that warm feeling that I did when I sent cards and things like this to my mother. Really cool. So now I'm going to bring it even more now that I'm just looking like this we're gonna bring it in more we went around the outside now we're just gonna without adding any more ink to it we're just gonna bring it further on into the center a bit of our paper it really helps going around it the first time with the heavier ink and the less ink now 
doesn't give such a heavy look to our DSP. We can get more on the going on the inside. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. This piece now is going to go just that alone is strikingly gorgeous, but that's not what we're not going to leave it like that. Now I'm de debating, do I set this one up on, um, I think we are, we are going to add something to the back of this, give it a little bit more support. I'm looking for something. Mm, I wonder if this piece here will do. It doesn't have to be really thick. I just want to add some more support back there. Yeah, that will work. This was the ins the other half of that piece of writing paper. So I think it's already at three and three quarters. We're going to just make sure. And then by five... I don't want to put this up on dimension because I want my, um, gosh, look how pretty that is. Why would they put this piece on the back of the fox? I cannot put the fox on the back of a piece of paper. Just not possible. So we're just backing it. And it really is just a thin piece of writing. It's a writing tab goober got on my card there. Glue eraser. So now this is going to go just like that. This piece, I don't like that. So we might just do a little peek out because all I was going to do is throw the tag like so on there. We're going to stay with that this now is a little thicker not much I don't want a whole lot of weight on the card and I don't want a whole lot of dimension in fact we may not even use dimensionals at all come to think of it so all right Woo. I don't think we are going to use dimensionals. I know we're going to sponge on this. We're going to stamp on this in early espresso. We're going to stamp happy Thanksgiving. And I wonder, we might need a little bit to go inside there. So we might have to tr cut this. We might have to cut a little bit. So I'm going to hold it like so. We're going to make a tag to go on the tag. Does that make sense? Uh-oh. Dogs. Not got a happy... Okay, I'm not going to glue it on there. And I don't want the part with the trees. We are going to trim it down. But first, I have to get it to somewhat resemble the front of it like that so now we're going to stamp happy thanksgiving we need to stamp and pierce mat because we want a really good thinking let's test her out first i haven't used this probably in just a year it's more likely i used it last year all right so we're going to stamp happy thanksgiving Voila. Now we are going to trim this down with the guillotine. There's the little trim. Probably could have got it on there a little bit. But 
think this is going to work. Let's see. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, what are we going to do? Where's my scratch paper? We'll start a new one. I'm not going to fuss with that. So, we're going to stamp, 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 stamp. We gotta give it a second because it's a real juicy ink here. I'm gonna do a little bit there, a little bit there. Just like so, and then we're going to go around this one before we ink it. Because I'm going to have to ink it up to do this one. We want this one darker. And it's going to all tie in together. All right. Let's glue this one down. I'm going to do some here, some there, and some there. I don't want to do where the circle is because it'll just get on me. Then I'm going to trim. I have this little bit here that needs a little trimming. This needs a little trimming. We could just go up like so and do that oh yes or do it absolutely there or do we want to go like I'm gonna tweak those little tails down if it's the last thing I do I will tame you we can go this way but it looks better framing the tag like so so that's what we're gonna do just that this that lovely it is it is it is and we don't need any dimensionals on it i don't want any on there i have to look at it because i think i got a crooked all right and need the video bitty tear tape I lost my glue dots but this is gonna work out fine it's gonna help hold my tails where I want it turn it this way And I'm going to trim my tails down. But I'm going to tuck them together first. And then cut them together. Ah, look at that. So, so cool. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is that same. We're going to use up this writing paper and put that on the inside of our card. And are we going to use this piece or just this piece? That looks really good together too. I think we're going to use this one. So let's cut it off at four, five, five and a quarter. And then this piece. Kind of like that little 
Nope, we're going to just do a half an inch strip here. We're going to glue that down. And then we will cut it off. So it's a half an inch right there's the grid line. wet glue on this side. Let's do tear tape on the other. Pokey oh, tool. We can do wet glue behind that piece. Yeah, you could have sponged all over the inside, and we probably should have, but I didn't because I forgot about doing it. But that's okay. Let's see, can I fix that little bit that I didn't do? Let's see, we can do it this way. Go around the outside. Don't want to add anything and I don't want it really dark. But yes, the answer is yes, you can. Fold it over here so I can get up onto this writing piece of paper we use. Okay, now I'm going to dip it back in there. And we're going to start here. We're going to deepen that edge. Just like, look, we can do this. And it's done. Ah, the card is done. That was so much fun, guys. I cannot tell you how much fun that was to do this. All right, so we need to do the envelope. And again, and I guess yeah, sponging does take time. So we are going to do the entire envelope. the way around the front and we're going to do our flap. So turn it over. This is relaxing to me. You have no idea. Coloring not so much, but this, this is my kind of fun. Just adding those layers and layers. And we have to stamp the inside. Just let's finish the envelope here. I forgot about stamping the inside to tell you the truth. Um, I want to take this now. We're going to stamp off twice and stamp, stamp. We're going to go three times. Stamp off twice and then stamp, stamp, stamp. We're going to do a little bit on 
here. Stamp, stamp, stamp. Ink, stamp, stamp, stamp. Now, for the envelope, I chose Thinking of You from Sincere Salutations for the envelope. We're going to stick that right there. Then we are going to put Happy Thanksgiving here, right there. We're going to let that dry. And for the inside, remember these are all from Paper Pumpkin. We're going to test it out first. Oh, love it. Open it up. Can't tell you how much I have enjoyed making this card. So thank you guys, because this is oh so so awesome. Absolutely loved it. So let's see. If I get it real light, we can even go here, here. Yes. And you could add all colors to this. And it, you could do so much more, but it's very monochromatic. <gasps> Very, very rustic. I love it, love it, love it. All thanks to the wonderful DSP. Thank you, Stamping Up. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So, thanks so much, everybody. Am I going to put any other embellishments? No, I don't want any other. I want it very simple. I mean, yes, this took a lot of work just in, but it was just sponging. That's easy, everybody. Easy, easy, easy. You can do this. So thanks for watching. I hope you like this card enough to give me a like, a share, a comment would be the moon for me, um, as I love to read them. And I do respond, though I am remodeling right now, and Hank has football and oh my gosh I think today <laughs> is getting away from me because I just want to sit and play some more so thanks everybody for watching and being so wonderful and please come back and visit me in my wonderland bye bye for now